What's up, girls and guys? What's up, boys and girls? What's up, girls and boys club and boys and girls club and boy scouts and girl scouts and boy scouts and douche scouts and douches? How's it going? Suck my fucking popsicle. It's delicious. It tastes like America. Dum 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 dum. Sometimes I like bomb pops, but other times I like. I like. Cream sickles, cream sickles, and other times to do to do, do. I like ice cream, and my life is about cream, and I like to cream and cream, 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 cream. Do ba do do ba do do ba do do ba do do. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do do. A good old ba boy is back. Good old bay seasoning. Delicious. On some fishies. Yum yum. We're on the bubble box. I haven't played this game on a bubble box yet. Uh, I don't know if all my controls are mapped yet, but. Doop doop. And I doop and doop and doop. <laughs> Damn, this music is too good. I don't think I enjoyed it quite enough back. Uh, last time I was playing a couple years ago or whenever. Yeah, I couldn't find I couldn't get this shit to work with my old save file and I don't feel like finagling around so I'm just gonna use this hundred percent file. Not really sure what happened to my old save file. And we'll pretty much continue from where I left off a couple years ago. I, I think I beat this game sometime like when I was a kid or maybe when I emulated it. Like, in the 2010 days. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna jam-pack a lot of talking into this episode like I always do. Plus, I'm going to, uh... I don't know what else I was gonna say. <laughs> Nothing. So, there's gonna be, probably gonna be some raging. I haven't played this game on... I'm not really even that good at platformers on the box controllers yet, but hopefully we can get there. I, can, I made it this far, so can't be too hard. I know this is like when it starts getting hard, though. That's what I'm worried about. Or at least little kid me always thought this was this was this area was scary, so like this is when I stopped playing. I would like get to this this stage or this stage, and then I would give up. Or this stage, I think at the farthest. And then I would, like, run out of lives. If that keeps happening, I'll probably use save states and stuff, because... I'm not really here to for a super challenge. I'm just here for fun. On, this, on these types of games. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about my channel, and then hop into some, some couple of levels, and hopefully we can... It doesn't really matter, because we can just use this save file. I forgot about that. So we don't have to start over. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be playing this game. I was out of it for a few weeks. I wasn't feeling too good after beating Resident Evil 4. I don't know. I just didn't think I would get that, uh... Distant from my love of video games that easily. I, it was kind of annoying. <laughs> Now I'm fighting for that love, you know? Now I'm like, well, even if I don't feel like playing, I'm gonna play, you know? Even if I'm not sure what I'm gonna play next, I'll go back into my list of loads of games and find something and start playing it, you know what I mean? So, like, no matter what, we'll play, we'll make videos, we'll explore the world and play all the games I've always dreamed of. I don't want to lose that dream because life pressures me, or my own emotions are hard, or I go through a hard situation. I don't want to lose that, you know? So that's kind of what I've been... That's why I haven't been doing anything on the channel. I have been having a lot of fun with my dogs, though, so that's been good. I always playing with those guys every day. Um... Played a lot of Halo. Got a lot of clips. Played a lot of PlayStation 5 controller stuff. 
Um, won a lot of high-ranked matches and beat a lot of great players, so... You know, it was kind of a rough couple of weeks, rough month. Ever since I stopped playing Resident Evil 4 and didn't really have anything that I felt like playing particularly. So I kind of just defaulted to playing Halo and being depressed. <laughs> But I'm kind of through that funk now. I matched like so many. I matched like Fat Rat multiple times. I matched like uh, everyone from Twitch pretty much at some point. Uh, loads of teams of people. Smacked up Hydology and Omniology and Shoxy and them. Smacked. I smacked up so many people. So I mean. And that's pretty good because I just swapped a PS5 and I I thought it wasn't going to be for me and it, and it ended up within a couple of days I was already playing great so and now I just keep getting better and better on it. I feel like I'll within it with definitely within a year I'll I'll be way better on the PlayStation 5 controller than I've ever been so Better no scopes, better quick scopes, just as good BR as B a BR as I have on the Xbox controllers. I think that's where I'll be at. I'm not quite sure if I'm there yet, but I'm getting so good that it's hard to tell like what I'm better at now. So that's so that's fun. It's like a mystery. Like I'm not really sure what I'm better at. Whereas before it was like clear that I was better on Xbox controller, especially like the first few days. I was definitely like rapid. It was cool how rapid I got better on the PlayStation controller. Like I started and I sucked and then I'll have a couple commentaries coming out about that. A couple more PlayStation 5 controller montages. Uh, I got a lot of shit coming out. I'm going to be getting After Effects soon and doing a lot of fancy Halo edits and other and other like uh, YouTube video editing projects for people and stuff like that. B businesses, business work stuff boring stuff and, and probably some fun stuff as well some of it'll probably just be like me editing a basic video for somebody that's not like you know cheap effective good editing that type of thing and then there's probably going to be some other projects that take me a couple weeks that are going to be like fancy 3d blender after effects uh plugins that i pay for and stuff like that so i'm going to be doing my best to get to get that money flow flowing in so that i can keep upgrading my my package of stuff that I can offer for people. Um, but yeah, that's some of the stuff I've been planning. Uh, uh, we made a lot of ice cream here. It's been fun. Chocolate ice cream, chocolate banana, cream cheese, chocolate. I love, you can tell I love chocolate ice cream. Uh, peanut butter, banana ice cream. Paired that with some salted chocolate ice cream with caramel drizzle on top and that was good. Uh, mand mandarin sor orange sorbet, strawberry mandarin orange sorbet, pear, pear, pear sorbet, which was actually fucking amazing. Like, I don't know, it tasted so good. It was so good, I would like go out of my way to buy fresh pears and make it like that too, because it was uh, that's how good it was. I wasn't expecting to like that stuff as much as I did. Um, so yeah, some of some of the stuff's pretty healthy. Some of the stuff's obviously really not. You're basically eating brownie batter turned into ice cream. Um, it's pretty fun to make the ice cream for the Ninja Creamy and stuff. Cause you basically just a lot of them. If you want to be a fat boy, you just like make like batter basically, and then liquefy it with some extra liquid and a fork or a whisk or whatever the fuck you want to use. It's really easy with a fork, so that's what I use. Um, I don't really feel like I have the desire for buying ice cream very often ever again now that we got the Ninja Creamy, you know? Because you can make the amazing chocolate ice cream. Uh, and you can do it in so many ways, you know? That's the cool thing. You need fucking uh, coconut milk, coconut fat light coconut milk if you wanted to go lighter almond creamer you can use that to lighten things up things like that you know almond milk soy milk I'm sure all that shit works good too 
sorbets. You don't even need to add sugar to them. The fruit does all the work. Tastes good already. If you add sugar to them, it actually gets too sweet. Um, you could put like a chocolate drizzle on some of those sorbets, like pear and peach, and and you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it to be good, but it actually is really good. And if you wanted to make it taste more normal, you could have like a bar, a, a burn, I almost said banana. You can have a banana sorbet or like a banana ice cream, and then set it right next to a couple of scoops of sorbet, and then share it with a family. You know, put a little chocolate drizzle on some of it. It's just like a, a better way to do ice cream. I feel like. The, the cream cheese ice creams taste fucking decadent as fuck. They're really good. I'd imagine the gelatos might even be better tasting if you like that ultra creamy shit. Um, so that's been fun. I've been doing a lot of like spiritual thinking and just like thinking about trying to face life and trying to make amends with my past and trying to leave people who never gave a fuck about me behind, you know? Trying to let that go and everything. Just all the typical generic bullshit. Meme lord bullshit. I've been actually, like, thinking about it, though, and trying to apply it to my life, you know? And that's kind of where I've been. Taking a couple walks. I gotta take a couple more walks. I haven't been taking quite, a, quite enough yet. Um, but yeah, I'm about to hop into Breath of the Wild and finish up that game. I'm not going to finish everything. I'm a little sad that I'm going to skip some good stuff, I'm sure. Um, maybe there'll be a reason to go back and play some of it down the road, but... I just want to move on to the next game, and I want to take that game more seriously and everything like that. I also like the controller that I'm going to be using, because it's on the Switch, not the Wii U. I'm so there's a lot of reasons I want to play that for some reason. Um, so I'm trying to just finish up the main story of Breath of the Wild. Because I just feel like it's one of those things where it's like... Okay, I played this... I'll just compare it to something. I played the game Dishonored a long time ago, like, back pretty much a little while after it came out. I played it back on the Xbox One, I think I rented it from Gamefly or some shit. Or, I think, I think it was Gamefly. Um... And that was fun, and I don't really remember it that well. I know there was, like, alternate endings, there's probably a bunch of stuff I didn't do. But even so... If I went back to play a game like that right now, even if it would be fun playing the first one on mouse and keyboard, I just feel like obligated to play the play the new games, you know? It's like same thing with like that Star Wars Jedi game or whatever it's called. Fallen Star Wars of the Fallen Order or whatever the fuck it's called. Um like sure the first game's probably super cheap, probably decently fun patched up so it probably runs better than it ever did in the beginning of the game's life or something but you just feel like it's kind of like you, you just keep going on and on with that because it's like if they can't make the games progressively better then it's like why should I go back and explore you know what I mean why should I go back and explore all these side quests in Breath of the Wild that I don't even need to do I'm not saying they're bad I just mean there's a lot of content out there in the gaming universe, and it's like, you gotta pick and choose what's worth your while sometimes, you know what I mean? Anyways, that's just some stuff I was thinking about. Same reason I almost skipped past this game. I couldn't find my save file, and I was pissed, and I was like, maybe I should just play Donkey Kong Country 2 and say fuck it for once, and just let myself have fun. But, I'm gonna manpower through it and finish up these hard levels that I didn't, that I didn't wanna do. I usually just play platforming games for fun. Once they get really hard, I just, you know, I can put up with anger and shit with, on Halo and back in the day on like Fortnite and Smash Bros and stuff. But when I play a platform game, I don't platform jumping game like this. I don't really, it's not my main priority to try to be a fucking professional. I actually, I like being able to mess up and still have fun, you know? 
Some of these levels, I know they're about to get fucking annoying. Because this game's hard in the beginning, so... Like, th like those minecart levels and shit. There's, like, a lot of hard shit in this game. Especially if you're not keen on repeating. Like, you want to get it done on the first or second try or something, you know? Then you're... It's gonna be hard. Especially if you, like, going fast, too, so you're playing risky and, and you still want to get it, you know? We have a lot of expectations when we play games. We want to push it to the limit, but we don't want to fucking die either. That's the fucked up part. Uh, but I haven't, I've been having a lot of fun playing Clash of Clans. Uh, there's not really an easy way of re that I know of. Like, you probably need, like, a fucking iPad Pro or some shit. I don't even know. I don't... I wish I could find a way, but I'd like to make YouTube videos for Clash of Clans because I, I enjoy that game. Uh, I wish I could have done videos for Clash Royale back when I played that game a lot because I really enjoyed that time with that game. Scott Herman, a fitness dude. That guy's making a game that looks kind of like Clash Royale. I might give that a shot. Uh, I'll at least, in some of my commentaries like this, I'll at least talk about the Clash games, Clash Royale, the other mobile games that I, I dabble with. Uh, down the road, I w like if they make like a, for example, if they make a Clash Royale 2, or they make like Clash of Clans 2, you you best believe I'll, I'll find a way to record that shit. I'll, I'll buy a fucking laptop if that's what it takes. I'll buy a iPad Pro, whatever. Whatever it takes, I don't know. A screen capturing phone that sends it some like fancy phone, like a Samsung Galaxy S G Super that sends the signal to your fucking computer or something. I don't know. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna get it because I had so much fun with Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. Like, I really feel uh, like a emptiness in my soul. It's like how we never got a sequel to Twilight Princess for Zelda or Wind Waker. Which I've been having visions of them making a Wind Waker sequel. And I have I bet you they will one day or some shit. Legends of Zelda Wind Waker 2, I bet you. Cause that's like a whole like untapped world, I feel like, that they that they're gonna notice one day that it doesn't make sense not to have more content there and more It's almost like they'll they'll wake up one day and they'll be like, shit, we probably should have had Wind Waker 2 about back in 2015 or something, you know what I mean? Back in 2013, you know? Because that's just, uh, when you think about it, like, yeah, games take a lot to make, but when you've already made a game, it's not that hard to make a sequel. <laughs> like, look at Majora's Mask, you know? Look at the Final Fantasy 7 through 9. Like, they all came back, or came out pretty close, quick, or uh, pretty, uh, close together, right? From what I remember. Yet, they're all big-ass games that play very similarly, but they're so, but they also have so many differences, you know what I mean? Probably the same reason there's three Donkey Kong countries. I just feel like it's weird when developers refuse to even, like, touch anything that somebody used to do, you know? Like, why isn't there a Donkey Kong Country 4? Why isn't there a Yoshi's Island sequel, Yoshi's Island 2 sequel to the Super Nintendo 1 that plays exactly like that game or something? Or actually advances on... Because the because all the Yoshi's Island sequels were garbage, you know? Like, the one on the DS was okay. Like, that was a valid Yoshi's Island game. That wasn't bad. But everything else after that... Nothing compared to Yoshi's Island, you know what I mean? And you could, you could make the same argument with Link to the Past. Kind of weird that they didn't explore that... That... Those mechanics and that game engine and... And do more with that, you know what I mean? Seems like obvious money on the table. Guess it's really that fucking hard for them to put together a triple A game or whatever, like a, a game that appeals to the masses. I don't know. I feel like there's always this fucking pressure to make everything new and fresh, and then by doing that, we just get like these dip in their foot in the water type games, you know what I mean? Like where. That laugh means I explained myself well. <laughs> if you didn't pick that up or pick up on that. And I even explained myself more well by explaining that right there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I have these like crazy dreams sometimes where I'm just like in this giant city and we're all like it's like video game characters or like monsters and, and demons and and heroes and, and all the and villains and all this shit and this shit's flying around and we're all like running around this like pure this like energy pyramid city it, it's really weird some of the dreams I have that they just like it doesn't feel like it's part of this world, you know? It, like, doesn't feel like I don't understand, like, why I, that took my brain and my spirit on such a crazy trip, you know? And sometimes I, when I have those dreams, I, like, stop thinking about my own life when I wake back up, you know? I feel, like, distant from my own life after those dreams. And it's something I, I don't think I address properly with myself because... I think it is it, as cool as and important as those types of dreams are and those visions in life and stuff like that. I think it's very important to to somehow bring them back into your life and synchronize, you know, like you embody those feelings and that, those crazy visions and those crazy worlds you explore and everything, those crazy loves and romances and friendships you've had in your dreams or in your past or in your mind or something that could have been all those types of shit and that's what I that's what I've been working on the most is is that type of shit is just like really bringing that all together to clear out all the bad inside of me and all of the anger and all the repressed feelings and all that type of shit all the fears of the future and whatnot that's anyway that's kind of the stuff I wanted to talk about I'm gonna chat for a little bit longer but then I'm, I'm kind of sick of talking already um, you're probably sick of listening. Uh, drinking a lot of water, sip on Gatorade on some of the days where I don't eat as much food, and that seems to help me a little bit. I feel, I feel better that I don't feel like I'm gonna faint, and I don't feel like lightheaded or anything like that. Um, I want to keep working on that because if I can get better fasting days, I feel like I'll enjoy my life better overall. I've already talked about this type of stuff before, but that's just one of the things I've been working on. I want to take like some good vitamins on those types of days or like whatever when I refeed afterwards on a, on a future day. Um, I want to talk, t teach people a lot of things about ice creams and smoothies and stuff I'm passionate about. <laughs> my ice creams and my smoothies. Having a, a crazy flip-flop diet, you know, where you're flipping fat back and forth between trying to be insanely healthy and trying to eat insanely delicious. Because <laughs> I feel like a lot of us deal with that and, and that's, I feel like if you actually balance that right and you do the healthy days right, that could actually be a great way to live. You know, it's just, that's the hard part. I feel like you could get away with eating pretty fucking trash food if you were actually like a master of the mucusless diet healing system on the side or something like that, you know, or really good at fasting and eating whole foods or really good at making your, or uh, planting your own microgreens and veggies and making your own cheese or something, you know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of paths there, but you got to know about all of them and feel, figure out which ones are right for you in that time in your life and stuff like that. And then, and then make them happen, obviously. Um, so I got a lot of plans for the future. I want to take learning some languages seriously, Japanese, and then maybe like Spanish or something similar. I don't know, similar was the right word. Something, you know. I don't know what I would do besides Japanese. I don't think it would be another Asian language. That could change after I learned Japanese, I have no clue. Um, but I had I had a lot of love when I was learning Japanese and I was pretty damn good at it for how much time I put in, so. I think I even have a book on like the, you know, the basic first book you would get for learning Japanese. Um, so that'll be fun. 
I, do, I definitely want to go to Japan and do some crazy shit there. Eat some giant hornets and fucking eat some tonkatsu broth and fucking explore some crazy places. I'm never going to lose that dream. Uh, so that's, you know, I even though it sounds crazy, like coming from like kind of a bum like me, like... I just still believe in it for some reason, you know what I mean? It's like how I believe that I'm going to be a game designer one day, even though, like, I haven't done a lick of work in a, you know, in a while. Some part of me just tells me that, like, that's where my life is always going to end up heading towards, you know, at some point in the next few years, like, I won't be able to help myself, like, that's what it'll... Uh, I'll be doing a lot of time. Or I'll be, oh, sorry, I'll be putting a lot of time of my life towards that. Game design, learning Japanese, trying to spread the message of health and help people and help myself. Uh, it's just basically that type of stuff. Making YouTube videos, building a business of some kind that it would be all types of things. Editing videos, selling microgreens, um, some, you know, maybe fruits and vegetables, growing in a greenhouse or something, stuff like that. Um, natural products, yoga information, fasting information, spiritual information that I study and research and then share with people the, the things that I like. And things that I think per will pertain to other people's lives, stuff like that. Um, computers, tech, obviously, I'm very into tech. Building tech, building computers. Reviewing it, using it throughout its entire life, like hardcore gaming. Uh, instruments, music. There's so many things that I'm into that I might not be the best at every single one of them. But I'm deep enough into it that it's like I can provide value to people. You know what I mean? Like I know how to code websites. I know how to uh, do graphic design. I can design whole websites. I can. I, I'm a half decent artist who has potential to be very good if I actually believed in myself and worked on the shit. You know? And that could help with all that type. Now people could get custom art from me while they're getting custom music from me while they're getting custom custom website templates and shit, custom video templates for their videos, all types of things, you know. Tutorials, obviously. I'll, that's, that, that'll always be a goal of mine is to not only make a living for myself and my family, but to also provide lots and lots of free value because that's what helped me in my life was a lot of people who just gave me free information and free value and stuff like that, you know. So that's always going to be a goal. And I just feel, uh, I know my life has been kind of weird and I've been like super nerdy the last few years and like all I've been caring about is video games and trash talk and shit. I get that. I'm not stupid. All the time. But I feel like, like you might have doubted me before and hated me for whatever the fuck, trash talk or stupid video game interactions, but I still feel like I was trying to learn throughout all the types of dumb years I've had in my life and the dumb, the dumb, sad days that I didn't like and stuff. And I feel like it's kind of all paying off for me now, you know? I feel like I'm kind of tough for, for a dumb nerd, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm kind of emotionally tough to some stuff. And, that, and that's something that I'm kind of thankful for these days. I kind of sound like, like, uh... Uh, Rick from Rick and Morty, like, finally admitting that he, like, loves his family. <laughs> I'm finally admitting that I, I do love life, and there's a lot of things I like, and a lot of things I like to do, and want to help people with and stuff. Um, so yeah. I'm sure we'll get into soldering at some point, and we'll be making custom controllers as well. A little bit of 3D printing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the, definitely the next year you're going to see loads of video games, 
Me learning Japanese, that'll be a big part of the channel. Video editing, maybe a little bit of music, that, that'll probably be it. Like, there's other stuff I want to do, and there's other stuff I will be dabbling in. But I don't have time to make videos about all of that. And a lot of that stuff is just going to be dabbling, like... I'm not ready to be a game designer yet, you know? Like, I feel like I want to... The next few years, I really want to make them about playing games and having fun and setting up a foundation for game design and learning some of the background information like coding and stuff and um, all those types of things. And then once I feel like I got that Japanese knowledge down that I want and I got at least the foundation of it and all these types and I'm ready and I'll and it. And then I'm going to start trying to make money like a freak. Like, I'm going to work super hard on game design. I would imagine, you know, if I'm still here and everything, from the age of, like, 34 to 37, that's that's probably when I would, like, be going so fucking hard and trying super hard for my family to make money and to provide value to people and to get to Japan and take some trips there and stuff like that. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's pretty much what's been consuming my mind for the last few, the last like month and a half or whatever. I don't remember. I don't even remember when I stopped playing <laughs> Resident Evil 4, but like the second I stopped playing, like my whole life has been a blur since then. It's really weird. I and mean, that's why I'm trying to start playing games and do more things with my day and stuff. Because my life was just kind of like lost at sea for a while and. So I don't, I'm not sure about everything I'm going to get into for the games this year, but there's going to be a lot. Uh, I'll just list down a huge list of them. See if you're interested in any of them. Uh, most likely I'll have Street Fighter 6 at some point. As I keep watching the streams of it and Punk to God and Maximilian Dude and people. And I, if I get, I'll probably get angsty and want to play it or something. Or Is that the word? Um, Donkey Kong games, we're obviously playing that. Uh, Zelda, that's going to be it. I'm going to take uh, Tears of the Kingdom even more serious than I did with Breath of the Wild. Um, there'll be some Mario speed running this year. Mario Hacks will be back in rotation a little bit. Hollow Knight, Silk Song, I think is getting delayed, so that's pretty, pretty depressing, but I do have a lot of things to do, so it's fine. Um, I was really banking on that game, though. That's that's why it sucks. Hopefully, it's not delayed too long. Um, that was gonna be like my big game after Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe it still will be. Uh, Tales of Arise. There, there's a lot of games that'll be showing up on the channel. Like you, you'll probably be surprised with the no, the variety. I'm not gonna beat them all instantly, obviously, but there's gonna be a lot of games. I'll be back on Resident Evil Village pretty soon. Because I bought a nice cool mouse, a Logitech G502X. And that mouse is fucking sick. Or the Lightspeed one or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Weird ass names. Um, so, so many games. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other ones that are going to show up very soon. I'm talking like within the next week. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of the stuff I wanted to talk about. I was going to talk about some like relationship stuff that I've been going through and memories of relationships that kind of came full circle and made me think a lot of deep things about. I'm not going to get into it. You guys are grown up. You know, you know how fucking in-depth fucking romance and love and rom uh, relationships can go, so... I just been, I'll just say I've been realizing a lot of shit and feeling better about myself for having tried my best to give love out to people's, you know. I'll just say that without getting too cocky and douchey. Um, yeah, there's, oh, some other stuff I was excited about was, uh, after I play a lot of Tears of the Kingdom, I'll most likely buy some of these Fire Emblem games. So, if you don't know me, I, I was a big Fire Emblem fan when I was a kid. I loved the Game Boy Advance games. 
And I also love the GameCube games and the Wii games. I don't remember what other Fire Emblem games I played. But, uh, yeah, I've been kind of missing that. I, th I might have rented the one for the 3DS. I think there was one on the 3DS, the, like the first one on the 3DS. Pretty sure they came out with more after that. I don't even know how the fuck I'm going <laughs> to... Sorry for swearing, but... I don't even know how the fuck I'm going to be playing the 3DS game for the YouTube channel. Like, I don't like downloading and stealing ROMs and shit. I don't like that shit. It's annoying. And I don't like it on my channel either, but sometimes you have to. Because there's no way to record handheld games still, and it's so stupid that they never came up with stuff. That's, like, reasonable. Um... So hopefully some of those 3DS games got... Probably not, but hopefully they got re-released on the Switch. Uh, I probably should be look on the lookout for, like, a Switch sale for those Fire Emblem games or something. I don't even know how many there are. I'm assuming there's, like, two on the Switch and, like, two on the 3DS. And I've played, like, some of the one on the 3DS. I don't even know. Well, yeah, I wanted to get back to those games because I always love those games. And I think I would have fun playing that. Maybe even more than Final Fantasy Tactics right now. That's another game I was going to get back into real soon. Final Fantasy Tactics for the PSP. I don't know if that's better than the PS1 version, but... I just figured maybe they added something. Um, shit, there's a lot of other stuff. I think I pretty much talked about everything, or most of the main stuff I wanted to get out for this commentary. I won't do a commentary for a while. I don't really like doing commentaries, but... It's just fun to update my channel once in a while. Um, shit, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if there's any big games coming out soon. Street Fighter 6, yeah. I'm not that interested. Probably be some fun at least. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with all these Metroidvanias. They, people, in the last five years, developers, I swear, they turn into, like, the most game-delaying fucking people of all time. Like, every good Metroidvania, they act like it's gonna come out, and then it's not coming out till the next year, and then it's not coming out till the next year, and then it's not coming out till the next year. Like, they made it seem like Hollow Knight Silk Song was coming out in, like, 2019, 2020 at the latest. And now we're, like... Go approaching 2024, you know what I mean? And I doubt it's gonna be that fucking massive. There's no way. I, I might, you know, I, I highly doubt I'm gonna eat my words on that one. People fly through Metroidvanias. We're fucking, everyone's a Metroidvania pro, you know? People fly through those fucking things. I don't care how big it is. People love the shit out of Hollow Knight, too, so they'll fly through it even faster on that game, you know? So much passion goes into it when people play games they love that much. It's like they beat the bosses faster because they're, they're having so much fun. They're, like, so en engrossed and enthralled in the game, so engaged. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna play a couple levels here and... I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna play enough to get mad. I don't really feel like rage, boss raging this fucking game. So those are most of the games I was, I was gonna hop into very soon. Hunt the Night. I don't know if I said that one. Uh, oh yeah, Cross Code, Eastward. I love those games. I want to get back into those games for sure. Um, obviously Octopath Traveler is a big game for me. I love that game. I loved it the first time I played it, and it just keep, kept getting better and better. It's really fun. Um, I feel bad for not even playing that game right now, right this minute, you know? Um. 
some other little RPGs, games like RFL and Cthulhu Saves the World, stuff like that. I'm, I'm kind of like building myself up for uh, see. If I want to beat all these RPGs that I got, all the best ones, so that when something like Sea of Stars comes out, if you know that game, uh, I'd like to fucking go hard in that game. I have like another one. I'm trying to remember what it, remember what it's called. It's called like Star Rescue Force or some shit. It, that's not what it's called, but it actually looks really fun. It looks it like looks like it's about as good as RFL or Oh, and there's another one called Rise of the Third Power. I almost bought that one because it looks it's, it's I think it's like the spiritual sequel to RFL. It's like the same developer. That game looked looked really good. It looked like it had really good characters and stuff. And RFL already has good combat, or like good uh, RPG combat, or whatever you want to call it. Turn-based battles. Um, yeah, there's so so many games, like shooter, there's like some random shooters I want to play. Like Metro, the game called Metro something, whatever came before Metro Exodus. That game looked pretty cool, and I got that one for free on Steam. So that was cool. Um, Atomic Heart, I wanted to hop back into that game because that was interesting. There's so many, so I can't even have all the games installed on my hard drive because there's so many of them. Eterna Noctis was getting an update, and that, that was a really fun Metroidvania that I want to give another shot. I feel like the only reason I stopped playing it was because I had so many games to play at that, at that time, and I had played so many Metroidvanias. I needed a break. I really wish there's so many games that I, I wish that we heard I wish I wish I wish that we uh, heard some information about and I just feel like it's not gonna come for a long time and it sucks some of them would be like uh, castle in the darkness 2 like I'm really worried that game's gonna get canceled and, and games like that that are just like obviously gonna be fucking bangers like you know they're gonna be a 10 out of 10 for you or like a 9.5 easy that's how i felt about astalon and astalon ended up being that fun so you know what i mean so same thing with agalos like i looked at agalos and i was like that looks pretty fun I, I, and then something deep down told me i was gonna love it guess what i fucking love that game it was so fun agalos and and astalon and Castle in the Darkness were fucking... All those games are so underrated. They're so fucking good. If you like those those kind of games, they're so good. And they just... Like, they're not perfect. But they give you this feeling like we might run into some of the uh, most amazing Metroidvanias ever in, in the next, like, ten years. You know what I mean? Like, someone's about to fucking crack the code and make some ridiculous good shit. And I think it might happen, like, right after... It, you know, it, it's pretty... Uh, easy to say like it's low risk to say that it's gonna happen in the next five years because i mean look at how good hollow knight was and then we got so many good games like blasphemous and um eterna noctis is amazing uh what else is like a really top tier metroidvania agalos is, is fucking good and that's not even like a budget title or that's not even like a big budget title either and it's still really good. I want to say Time Spinner, but that game's like... It's like a demo of a game, really, honestly. Okay, Ori and the Blind Forest, you know. We get these, we get Hollow Knight, and then we get all these other ones that are really good. Even Metroid Dread's a great Metroidvania. It's got some problems, but it's still great. And it's doing something that's no other Metroidvania has done on that graphical level, pretty much. And those modern mechanics as well. Um, but now look, well, and even games like Ghost Song look pretty cool. Might be some bland screens here and there and stuff, but if you can get past that, a lot of these games have a lot of secrets and they're a lot of fun, you know. Uh, but you think about it, and if you, if, if some of these games even, like, come to their 
close to their full potential, we're, we're about to run into, like, the, the golden age of Metroidvania, you know? Guys, if you... Just, like, Gestalt... After Image just came out, and that seemed like a pretty good... Pretty good one. Um... Hunter X is an amazing game. Blasphemous 2 is coming out. Like, I could go on and on. Silk Song, obviously, is... De it's de it's already... At its worst, it's gonna be like a 9.7 out of 10, right? Like, at its fucking worst. Um, There's like a Mega Man-looking fucking... Me I was even begging for that. And there's like a Mega Man-looking Metroidvania. I don't remember the name of it, but I've seen it recently. I synced it, I swear. Um, Crow Sworn looks fucking god tier. That game looks like it's already destined to be over 9,000. I mean, uh, over 9 out of 10. Uh, Rune Fencer Ilya, obviously. There's just so many of them. I feel like Color Grave Games is bound to make a Metroidvania. That guy's that guy and his crew. I don't know who he works with. I think it's a guy. They they make really good games. Seems like they're on their way to making a Metroidvania. And there's just like probably some other really good ones that I haven't mentioned that are coming out too. So it's like Gal Guardian. I think it's called. Looks pretty fun. Sort of a Metroidvania. They're just. It's crazy how many good ones... There's so many good ones that I don't even play any of them anymore because I don't know which one I want to commit to and play, you know? It's weird. Soldiers was really good. Soldiers was a 9 out of 10 game. Super fun. I'm sad that it didn't... I don't think it was popular enough and I don't think they're going to make a sequel and it really sucks. Because it totally deserves a sequel or something... Or like a spiritual successor or something. Um... Oh yeah, Rivals of the Ether 2. If that game turns out, I'll, I'll probably take that game really seriously because I didn't. I don't think Frame Makers ended up being the game that we th everyone hoped it would be. You know, maybe it'll end up being pretty fun down the road. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's most of the stuff I was thinking about. Might play like a Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga or something weird like that. I'll probably have to buy a monitor at some time in the next few years. A gaming monitor, so that'll be interesting. Somewhat. Uh, Final Fantasy 16, I forgot about that. That might be a game that I end up buying. We'll see. This stuff didn't save my controls. I don't like messing with this screen. It, like glitches out my controller, and then I have to like do all this crap. It's crazy. Is that it? Oh my god. Alright, we got that. Let's see if that works. I don't expect a lot of me here. I was never the best Donkey Kong player anyway. Well, 
What is this? It's like teasing me over here. Oh, I'm supposed to climb? Oh, I'm supposed to jump off onto that or something. When I was a kid, I, I I was fucking terrified of this place. I don't even know why. The oil fire got me, I guess. And, like, scary overworld. I don't even know. And the, like, big-ass croc dudes, I think. I think I used to suck on box more than I thought. Just because... It was like the second I did Link to the Past speedrunning, like... Everything changed in my life. No, I'm just... Um... Ooh, greedy. Greed, greed, boy. I don't know, the length of the past speedrunning just like... I didn't really notice it was happening because I was so focused on just getting better at the speedrun, but I... It seems like it made me way better at platform <laughs> as, I get, as I get fucked up. But you know what I mean. It feels like it made me way better at platform games on the Bach controller. These fucking monkeys. These fucking guys. Oh my god, this is crazy. Donkey Donkey Kong sucks. His hitbox like he gets hit so easy. Like he need he actually needs the he should tank an extra hit, honestly. Like he really should. I'm not just saying that to be a, an annoying complainer, like he really should. Like you see how easily I jumped on those guys' heads with Diddy and then with this motherfucker, like, it's so risky, I don't even want to try, because it's not worth the frustration, honestly. Ooh, that was close. Oh! <gasps> the barrel, like, fucking goes straight down. Well, you live and you fucking die. Good old life motto. Then Donkey I don't think... There's, like, a trick where you can, like, roll off of ledges and then... Oh! See what I mean? Like, how did I even get hit there? Like, I think you don't even want to fuck with him when he's in the animation of throwing. I think that's really what it is. Right there, you can do this like. Oh, and you can almost once you get used to the timing of the roll. You can use it to... That's really cool, actually. You can use it to go under guys. It doesn't seem like it... When you're bad. Because it's like... It feels kind of clunky, but... ah. See, so you mess around for a little bit, and you try to explain things, and you just get fucked up in some spot you, like, never normally would. All this because I don't have Diddy. If I had Diddy, like, I'd get, I'd get through here in one try, you know? Most two. Whoa. My Donkey Kong, like, stopped moving, bro. So these barrels are extremely important, apparently. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even know if I can jump on these either. That's the fucking problem. Look at there's like, not even time to fucking... And I don't think you can jump on these guys. Well, fuck you too, then. At least we're almost done with this godforsaken game. I want to play the other ones I never fucking played. 
It's about damn time. Ah! Thought you were gonna rock back and forth like a normal dumb enemy. They give you that guy right away, and then it's like you never see another fucking little ditty. Fuck your oil. Give it back to Mother Nature. Douche. I don't even remember doing this. It's too busy gloating about how good I was or something. Oh, I almost did the same thing that fucked me up last time, because I have to get greedy. No, oh, you fucking pieces of shit. No, anything but this. Just run, okay, just, just run past those fucking assholes. No! Are you kidding me? He's at like the the worst spot jumping on you. Get down there and then get back up here and then slap my hand. Oh my god. This game is fucking terrifying. Now I see why I didn't like this as a kid. Always, oh, jeez, look how fast this guy is, bro. Come on. Please. Not like this. WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT SHIT?! You see the timing on that? It, that is absurd. I don't care who the fuck you are or what the fuck you're lying to me about. That is absurd. I don't need to be like that. I really don't need to though. Now I'm like fucked because I don't have Diddy. No, oh, he spawns back like, come on, don't do that game. I kill this hard to kill, annoying motherfucking enemy, and then you turn around and he, he's back full health, full damage. You can do whatever the fuck he wants to. This is exactly why I'll probably cheat through the future games. Games like this really need a fucking health system, to be honest. I don't even know what- oh. Oh. Here we go. This is why I stopped playing these games. Because they're- They're fun games and then you get to a certain point and they're just so fucking annoying unless you're a speedrunner who absolutely is committing to the game for the rest of his life. It's so fucking annoying. Like, I just want to be on the next level. I basically did everything in this level already. I basically did every piece of this level down to like the last millisecond of it. I spent so much time in this godforsaken level I don't even know what screen's next because I don't care anymore. Well, that kills. Probably doesn't kill sometimes and gets you killed. Ooh, I'm gonna start trying to do that every time if I can. See, then by the time you get good at the level, you beat it. You know? So it's like, what's the fucking point of getting you know, I just wanted it done on the first fucking try. Say, I wanted it save stated, honestly. So, do I have to use a monkey trick here? Like, what do I have to fucking do? It's right up here, right? At least these controls are decently responsive. Oh! <laughs> you fucking asshole. Like, what am I supposed to do here, dude? Is this like just the. Oh, I gotta watch this shit. Oh, I almost died because of that. My fingers are like so afraid of this shit. Oh my god, please! 
<laughs> no, I know exactly why I didn't. It wasn't because that level was impossible for me as a kid. I remember beating that level. The problem was I ran out of lives in one of these two worlds and I was like, yep, no, nope, never again. <laughs> Yeah, like, I have no recollection. I, I, rem I vaguely, vaguely remember this when I was really young. And I don't even know if I did all the work to get here by myself back then. I don't, I don't even remember this. Oh! Oh, that wasn't a good noise. <laughs> yeah, that was better. That wasn't good enough, though. But you want to impress the ladies? Look at look at my Kongs down. Holy! Oh my God! You troll fucks! You rote memorization troll fuckers! Holy fucking pixel by the pixel. Oh no, bro. Why is that a thing? Modern game design be damned. <laughs> Wait, is there like two fucking Kong things like right away in this level? Or am I crazy? At least we don't have to redo levels, man. I don't know if you can, like, duck under some shit. I want to eat something, but there's just not the right things right, you know? It's not, that, it's not that we don't have any food around, it's just... Not quite the right things that I want. I guess I did pretty good in the beginning there the first time. Now comes the hard parts. The camera was like trying to help me there, at least. Oh my god, I did the same thing again. Actually, there isn't even a that good of a way of avoiding these damn nuts. Oh my god, if that killed me, I would've been so annoyed. I really should save state some shit here, so I enjoy the game more. Asshole. No! Oh, and I didn't know how I did the interaction with him. <laughs> yeah, he, he, I remember everything about him now. He's an asshole. I actually am going to save state this level because, like I said, I, these auto scroller levels, I, I can't be bothered with these. I'm not speedrunning this game. I don't ever intend on speedrunning this game. Ah, oh, fuck, I did this again. This isn't the first time I made this mistake. See how little I know about this, this game. Damn, I was probably like, almost done with that shit too. It wasn't letting me switch. I was pressing the button to, you know, switch character. Even. I'm not really sure what was happening there. Whatever, I'm safe state in this bitch, so. <laughs> that was like a, that was kind of a frame perfect boss of Rude right there. No. Ah. Oh! That was bound to happen. I'm rusty with my save states. All right, we're not gonna make that mistake again. I'm gonna play it really safe with the save states.
I'm not even gonna try crouching under these assholes. Does it anyway? Fuck it, that one is scary as fuck or something. Uh, risky McJando part right around here. See how fast we can go through this. Oh, never mind. I remember when I was a kid and Transformers movies first started being awesome with Megan Fox and then they just turned into dog shit. With no Megan Fox. Come on, fat man. Now nah, this is gonna be so easy to watch. Like I died in a dumb spot. That's that's me though in a nutshell. The fuck was that guy doing? Okay, he's a nut throwing fucking master. Oh, did I say it was shit something was gonna be easy? You gotta know exactly what to do in every spot in these fucking old platforming games. Oh, fuck you. You're gonna throw this way, too? Oh, God, that scared me. Oh, there's a hulking hunk of a man. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, I don't know if I can jump on those yet, and I don't want to find out now. See? I die in the stupid spot, and then I get you can see that my skill is actually rapidly evolving, and the rest of it was a cakewalk. Because I went through a couple of hard situations. So far. Uh, well, we got save state, so let's do one more while we're here. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I like to be fucking weird as shit. It's just like a thing that I do. So jump and up do the same thing here. Interesting. I don't know if I have buttons mapped in a weird way or what. See, it's like, why would I want to lose progress for just like putzing around having fun, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm on an HD fucking version of the game and I can see super far to the right and left. I'm just running trying to have some fun, you know? That doesn't make you bad at a game. There's probably a secret there, but I'm avoiding all that nonsense. And look how much more fun the game is with save stage, you know? Still doing the same jumps. Might, you could even argue someone who uses save states could possibly get better at platform games faster, you know? Because they're allowed to do more risky things and try their hardest. Instead of trying to play safe and shit. You know, I'm good at that. Baby girl raised me on that timing. I wasn't good at much, but I came in with a compliment at the perfect time, and it melted baby girl's heart. I don't know if that guards against his damn pebbles. Come on, fat man. Ooh, that noise is satisfying. Oh, fuck, you really don't want to do that with him. 
That shit gets you killed. Yeah. I don't know how the stakes were that high. Okay, it does block that. That's cool. And then, yeah, you can boost jump over there. Jesus, you cannot switch to him on, like, any platform. Okay. I don't think you can pan the camera, either. Oh, and Kong throws the... Shit, he throws that bomb. That bomb stank ass. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Ah! Fuck you. You like... Basically have to be Donkey Kong here. See, like, imagine losing a couple lives to here and you have to redo the whole fucking world over. That was cool back in the day when the only game we had was Donkey Kong Country. But now we have a billion games and it's like, I can't be wasting that much time on one old game, you know? No matter how fun it is. Fucking it. They're, they're taking this shit serious on some of these later levels, man. Am I almost done? Nope. I should just be be doing this right here. Oh, that's not working. Fuck! I'm not gonna mess up my save states on accident and get super fucking pissed off. Holy shit! Okay, this this is crazy here. What's going on? Jesus. It's that type of shit that's like, yeah. I don't need that judging not, or base. I don't need that decide, determining how much fun I get to have playing my video game. You know? That jump would have been fine back in the day when we had one fucking platforming game. It was the only shits we had, you know? Oh, this screen looks relatively familiar now. That's cool. So we got Poison Pond. We can visit that guy. Shouldn't be... This should, this should all be a cakewalk now that I'm using some save states. So. Save that. Hopefully that works next time and I don't have to come back here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some Donkey Kong gameplay. Uh, we'll be finishing up this probably in the next episode. At the most I could see this is going two more episodes. Um, and then we'll be moving into other Donkey Kong games, all types of shit. So, see you guys there. Uh, I got delicious ice creams in the freezer, freezing up. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, uh, gonna have some fun playing Breath of the Wild and being dressed up as a girl like Cloud Strife. For a little bit. Uh, I'm sure, like, I want to do a commentary for it, but I also kind of just want to fucking, like, nerd the fuck out when I play Tears of the Kingdom. So, I'll most likely nerd the fuck out and just, like, be placed for a super long time and just be, like, super into the beginning of the game. Search for, like, all the secrets that I can right away and stuff like that. But those, like, first, like, 20 hours on a new, big, like... RPG, Elden Ring, like Breath of the Wild kind of game, or is so good, I feel like. Getting a feel for like all the new mechanics and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I just gotta finish up the last little bit of Breath of the Wild of the main story that I didn't do yet, and then I'll probably be doing Tears of the Kingdom right after that, so it should be fun. That reminds me, I gotta charge up my controllers, I gotta get my Switch ready, and capture card hooked up and everything. Uh, it'll be kind of sad, because I won't be using the Wii U for a long time, I would bet, after this, and, but whatever. Gotta, gotta move on when it's time. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure how much I was going to like platform games on the box controllers at first, but the more I do it, the more I'm like, yeah, this is this is for me. This is really fun. 
So I'm excited to get back into some of those Mario hacks. One of the reasons I don't go back to them is just because they are hacks. And when you haven't played them in a while, you like forget which one works on which emulator and shit. It's really kind of a hassle and it's annoying, but something you got to put up with to have all those great games, I guess, for free. Uh, so that's mostly the com up channel update commentary. Probably won't do another one for a few months unless like Hollow Knight Silk Song comes out or something big. Or if I get Street Fighter 6, maybe I would commentate that and see how serious I could take that game. I don't know. Might do a, a review on Tears of the Kingdom as well. Oh, and I'm like 75% of the way through it. Review it or something like that. I usually like to do something like that. Otherwise, I'm sure a commentary after I beat the game will... I'll, I'll, I'll do a mini review in there, too. Uh, so, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in tuning into the channel. Got a lot of Halo videos on the way, a lot of big things coming up. I'm excited to get be getting back into Japanese. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. Got a new cell phone. Uh... Got that cool new mouse like I was talking about. Been playing on the PS5 controller. I'm pretty much hooked on playing uh, any shooter I play in the future on PlayStation controller. We'll see how that goes. Uh, got a lot of Switch off-brand controllers that are really nice, that are fun to use, so... I'm assuming those will work for the next Switch, like, I'm assuming within the next few years they'll come out with like a Switch 2 and maybe like a pro version of the Switch 1. So I'm hoping that they, they're cool guys and they make it so that like Switch controllers, you know how like Xbox One controllers work on the series, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know if it's vice versa, yeah. but I just feel like if they do that, that would be like a huge boon for Nintendo because there's so many good Switch products. And then if you got a Switch 2, it's like, fuck yeah, I want to buy a Switch 2 because you're, you're telling me all my controllers work too. You know, all my peripherals, all my like USB wireless adapters and shit. If even some of that shit works on the Switch 2, you know they're going to make one eventually. It's just what's going to happen, you know? Probably be like a a Switch Pro to fill in the gap, and then like a year or two after, a Switch 2 or something like that. And then I just hope they like make, obviously make the games like more interchangeable than they have in the past. Like some games might still come out for the Switch 1 that work on the Switch 2, you know what I mean? We'll see. I feel like there's a lot of room there for Nintendo to like prove themselves as the company that we hope that they are, you know? Isn't there like a teaser of like a Super Mario Odyssey sequel at some point? I don't remember. I don't care that much about Nintendo. Because they haven't been that good for a while now. I don't even know what fucking time it is. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, it's 4.30 in the morning. I could have swore it was like 2... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, really excited for the other Donkey Kong Country games. Try to do as much of that without the save states as I can, but not promising anything. <laughs> Well, I'm basically, I'm, I'm dead set on fucking powering through the rest of Breath of the Wild because I really want to play Tears of the Kingdom now. I was out of it for a couple, like, like I said, like a month and a half, pretty much. I just couldn't, 
It's like my brain did not want to work. I don't know. It was weird. And then I had like a lot of weird dreams and a lot of uh, emotion, a lot of deeper emotions than I'm used to feeling. Like they always feeling like a lot. And uh, now all of a sudden I'm feeling a little bit better about my channel and my and my future altogether. So, hey, <laughs> it's kind of a weird experience, but pays. You know, it looks like it's paying off. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got. I got for you guys. Uh, update you guys down the road, month or two from now, on what's going on. Unless you know, the only thing that'll make me like make a video, is, unless as if I get surprised by something like a crazy new speed run that I'm gonna do, or like a crazy new game that came out, like Hollow Knight Silk Song or something like that. I'm not really into the thing where I used to do where it was just like commentary for the sake of commentary. Now it's more like I only like commentary when I'm talking about something f fresh to me, you know? Like I'll probably do some commentaries about Japanese and stuff like that with it within the next year, I would assume. And some, some about video editing and stuff like that. It's more fun for me to talk about new things that I'm learning than it is like just day-to-day -day bull bullshit all the time. Or just like talking when you don't even have anything to say like right now, you know. So I'll catch you guys down the road. Much love. Uh, catch the rest of the Donkey Kong series. Um, there's not going to have that much commentary and it's going to be mostly hardcore me sweating, sweat, get sweaty gameplay and stuff. So uh, see you guys next time when we hop back in uh, Poison Pond and, and uh, peace out till then. Blight Town.